What's up, YTPC? This is DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video, and today I've got a little bit of a show and tell with a couple of corn cobs that I got, plus a yacht bow. But before we get into that, some updates. Um, obviously, it's been a while since the last video, yet again. I do apologize about that. I've been super busy at work. Um, without getting too much into detail, there's been a lot of robberies in the area in the Matsu Valley in general, and in Anchorage. So as a result, because of the line of work that I do, naturally I've been busy. Also, um, you may recall that I said I was working on something that I was going to do earlier in October. Well, I did the thing, and I will talk about the thing once I... Um, once I do the break-in for the pipe that I got... Hence why I'm doing the Yabo video. Um, what else? Oh, you might have noticed that the light has improved greatly. I got a new lantern. Puts out a thousand lumens. Versus the older one that was putting out around 450. So, obviously you can tell. It's a much greater, in, or it's a much, it's a much more improved overall lighting. I think anyways. It looks kind of whited out, and I kind of have to sit back a little bit, but I think it's a great improvement. Anyway, with that all out of the way, let's get started. So I recorded a Yabo for the corn cob pipes that I did, but I didn't really like the quality of it, so I decided to lump it in with this Yabo. I got a Patriot. Smooth finish. With just the normal bit to it. And I got this. This is a relatively recent offering from Missouri Meerschaum. Came out around the same time as the as the Devil Ants pipes that they have. Shortly after the uh, the Dagner corn cob pipe came out. In fact it looks an awful lot like it. I think it was designed after it. But it's a Dublin shape. It's got a brass accent piece around it that says, and I butchered this the last time I recorded it. I don't know why. Um, but it's just a stamp that says 769. I don't know what that's referencing, but I, I like the accent piece to it. It's very nice. I have smoked these pipes, both of them, about three or four times so far, and I really like them. They smoke just like corn cobs, you know, obviously, but... This one, what I really like about it, this Patriot, and I don't know if this is true of all of the Patriots. Let me see if I can... I don't know if you can see it or not down there, but it's like the crevices that are normally in a corn cob, um, they got filled in. And the stamping on this one's a little bit different. I think, unless I'm mistaken, but I believe that's supposed to be a wooden insert. Anyway, yeah, I thought that was really cool. I got those both from Aristocob.com. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the main event. The main event is a pipe from a company, or not a company, a guy on Instagram. But he owns this pipeline, or this company. That is his personal stamp. It is the Pellerin Pipe Company. I saw one of his pipes on Instagram, and I had to have it. 
it was in a design that I was looking at because I had seen a few other artisan pipes that were shaped similarly to that and I was going to get um, a Nirup pipe because Nirup offers similar pipe shapes you know, at a pretty affordable price, comparable to like, you know, your Savinelli's, your Stan Wills, um, your Petersons, that kind of thing. But this caught my eye. I was, um, I was really excited to try and order it from this guy. He had it on sale for $200, and like I said, I jumped on it, did some talking back and forth through him. His customer service was excellent. Um, he was very prompt, and he made sure that my package got out fairly quickly and that the transaction went smoothly. So I'm very pleased with that. Again, it's called Pellerin Pipe Co. You can find them on Instagram. I will link their Instagram page down below for you guys to check them out. But with that out of the way... Let's see, I'm going to guess that the best way to open this would be probably just by taking these two off, these two sections of Hmm. Let's try this. Yeah, it's better. All right. Well, before I show the pipe, let me see if he sent anything else. Doesn't feel like it. But yeah, like I said, the guy was super cool when I uh, when I messaged him back and forth on on Instagram. There's his pipe logo. Pipe sock. <clears throat> Very cool. It's a nice touch. Handmade, established, 2014. So he's been doing this a little bit. <clears throat> I like the drawstring on it too. That's that's a nice touch. So, so far he's done a really good job at packaging both in the, in the pipe sock and in the packaging for the packaging itself, I should say. So, now the big reveal. Look at that. This is an acorn. It's a bent, stubby acorn, kind of craggly. Has a very natural look to it. Nice acrylic stem. It looks like he added a bowl coating to it, which is very cool. And there's also this other wooden ac accent piece. I can't remember what he said it was. I will leave it in the description. But there's his logo. Let's see if I can focus this camera. There we go. That's his logo. That's the accent piece between the uh, 
stem and the mortise. I love the rustication on this. It's very nice. Anyway, like I said, the guy was was super cool. Seems to hold well on the hands. And it clinches really well. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I mean, this was totally worth it. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to do the first smoke outside. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do a much belated VR to um, Cowboy Chris. And I'm going to talk about what I did earlier in October that took up a lot of my time in addition to work. But anyway, this has been DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. You guys have a good day.